The other day I loaded up a fresh batch of 45 ACP rounds and decided to test fire some of them. Since I hadn't shot this Rock Island Armory 1911 for a while, I decided to take it along and run some rounds through it. It didn't take but a couple of magazines fired through it to remind me why I like this 1911 to begin with. I have a number of 1911s in my collection that cost considerably more than this RIA, but in my hands they really don't shoot that much better. For a modestly priced 1911, it does come with some really nice factory upgrades, such as Novak style combat sights, extended ambi safety, full beaver tail grip safety, skeletonized trigger with over travel adjustment, combat style hammer, lowered and flared ejection port, and a flat mainspring housing. Like any other 1911 in my collection, it did undergo some simple to do refinements. I did polish the feed ramp, do a trigger job, and sometime later I installed a complete set of Wilson Combat Springs. The ivory scrimshaw grips on this 1911 were made by a disabled veteran who resides in Alabama. All of the scrimshaw work was hand done. In my opinion, he did a fabulous job. People who know me are aware that I support the veterans in any way I can. That said, I can assure you I was more than pleased to purchase this set of grips from this guy. Anyway, this RIA also happens to be my wife's favorite 1911 for taking to the range, and she certainly put quite a few rounds through it. Shortly after our first range session with this 1911, she informed me that it would be residing on her side of the gun safe. If you paid attention to the range clip, you'll understand why I didn't argue with her. I totally understand why she likes this 1911. It's reliable, accurate, and a real pleasure to shoot. I did install this compensator on it for target work, and she's insisted I leave it on there. You know, I've seen a lot more expensive 1911s that weren't really this well made. For what you get for your dollar, this Rock Island Army FS gives you a lot of bang for the buck. Sorry, I couldn't resist saying it that way, but it is true. For a modestly priced import 1911, the slide to frame fit is impressive. You can see the level of craftsmanship that went into this 1911. It's hard to tell where the slide leaves off and the frame begins. If you've been straddling the fence deciding whether or not to invest in one of these RIA 1911s, swing the other leg on over. It'll be money well spent. Well, that about wraps things up for today. Until next time, practice often, shoot straight, and thanks for stopping by.